Hi guys, good evening. Hi teacher, good evening. How are you? Fine. How are you? Hi teacher, Great. good evening. Good evening. How was your Father's Day celebration yesterday? Tell me. How was your Father's Day celebration yesterday? Did you celebrate your father? It was so so. Okay, so because so. Because we we were we were eat eight and sorry, pupusas. Ah, okay, okay, nice. Okay, super. Okay, well, welcome Rudy, welcome Kenya, welcome Alex, welcome Jose. Today we're gonna be talking about guess. Try to guess. What's our topic for today? Mm -hmm. What's our topic for today, guys? According to the platform, what's our topic for today? Can you guess? Today we're going to be talking about future, okay? So the future with will and going to. Can you guys listen to me or no? Can you listen to me? Yeah, teacher. Ah, okay, super. So today we're going to be talking about future with will and going to. So let's go over the video. I know you love these videos. Let's go over this video first, like a little introduction to my topic, okay? By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job so it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans in order to express these ideas you're going to use be going to to express that for example i'm going to take vacations next week i'm going to go to france that's just a quick example there um, you're almost sure that that event will happen on the other hand let's say that you're gonna 
you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. These are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe. So, so far, if you see, the difference between will and going to is simple. <clears throat> will, it's 50-50. It's just the possibility to the future. And going to, it's very assertive. It's something that you have already planned and will definitely happen. Okay? So, that's the difference between will and going to. So, going to, it's like for sure that's going to happen. And will is more like 50-50. Eh, okay? 50% it will happen, 50% it won't happen, okay? So that's the difference between one and another. I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you were thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future would be going to. We're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, that's what I want to express. Um, and so, in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Right? So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably. Okay. Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. 
um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle, okay? I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation. And make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go. And then, again, you might not. So if you're sure about it, then you're going to use the expressions towards the left. You're going to use be going to plus um, you know, whatever complement that exists. So you're going to use, I'm going to go to Europe. All right, that could be a, um, your plan. But if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. Okay, so I know this is a very simple topic. But I want to just ask you a couple of questions. So for you guys, what's the difference between how will you be able to identify when to use will and when to use going to? Tell me. Hmm? Guys? Uh, going to is when you are sure that you will you will do that thing. Mm -hmm. And Will is when you have a probably. It's like 50-50. It's a possibility. And going to, it will happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, Alex. Thank you. Anybody else? There's like key indicators. Remember we were talking about some indicators that will help us. How can we know if it's will? What are the key indicators to know if it's going to be will? Can you tell me? What are those key indicators when you know it's going to be will? Like some little words that will help you identify, ah, in this case, I'm going to use will. When you say, mm, maybe, mm, because you're doubting. Anytime you use those doubting words, like maybe, what's the other one? Probably. Right? I guess. So if you use, I think, if you doubt, if you use those like uh, possible keywords, those will help you identify that maybe you're doubting and maybe it's not going to be going to, you're not sure that you're actually going to do that action. So most likely it's going to be a will, okay? Just to go into a little bit more deep with more examples, let's go into this uh, little presentation that I have here. So for example, I will travel, if you're making a decision, yeah, you're taking a decision, but you don't know for sure if you're actually going or not. So you can actually say, I will travel to Japan next year. And that's a decision, right? Mm -hmm. For example. Or you don't know if you are going to study. If you have a plan also, you could say, I am going to study English next year or today, tomorrow. So if you have already decided then you use going to. But if it's just a decision or like a plan, maybe it's going to be will, right? The simple future has two different forms in English. We went going to. Although the two forms can be sometimes used interchangeably, people, and this is very common, guys, don't feel scared or don't feel bad because Americans, they don't know the difference. They use will and going to for either or. So they don't actually mark the difference. Oh, if you doubt 
or if you're not sure, use will. Or they use will and going to for future. They don't identify which is for which, so just don't worry about it, okay? If at the beginning you have a little bit of problem identifying when to use will and when to use going to. The good thing is that you know that both are used for future, okay? So for example, in this case, they often express two very different meanings as mentioned before. I will probably go to Italy next month, for example, here, or I'm going to fly to Italy, Italy next Saturday, okay? So it all depends if it's for sure or if it's just a possibility. Then we have like the structure or a little bit for you to have an idea of how you can structure it. If you're making affirmative statements, I will travel to Madrid in October, for example. If you're asking, will you travel by bus? Will you, when are you traveling? When will you travel? So you can structure it as you wish, as long as the will will go at the beginning, okay? Will you travel by bus? Will you travel by plane? When are you traveling, okay? And if you're doing it negatively, in a negative way, then you would say, I will not or I won't. I won't travel or I will not. So that's the negative of will, won't. And the negative of going to, not going to, you just add not. I'm not going to uh, go to Madrid on October, for example. Mm -hmm. That's the negative, won't and not going to. Those are the two negative ones. Then we have, when we have instant decisions, okay, I'll see you on Friday. I will see you on Friday. You use will also for instant decisions or predictions based on what you, what we think, or from promises and offers. For example, uh, in predictions, I think it will rain in the evening, right? It's a prediction, so you're not sure, I think. And then again, keywords. I think it will rain in the evening, okay? And promises and offers, don't worry. I'll go by bus, I'll, I'll go and buy some food for you, okay? Promise, when you offer somebody, you're not guaranteeing that you're gonna do it, reason why you use will, okay? By the way, remind me to share the presentations with you because I have yesterday's presentation that I'm going to send out after this class too, okay? To share the presentations with you for you to have them. Please just remind me because I forget like Dori. I'm like Dori, I forget. Future tense with going to, in the future, I'm going to travel by plane. Then again, when you already, um, are you going to travel by plane? Yes or no? A negative. I'm not no. going to travel by plane. This is something I would love to do. I would like to get into a hot air balloon. What about you guys? Would you like to travel in a hot air balloon like this one? I would like to. Uh -huh. I think well. they have them here in Santa Tecla. I have seen them and they have that tour, but they just uh, lift you to the sky and then bring you back down for five minutes. So they don't give you like a little tour, just lift you on a hot air balloon. But it would be super interesting to actually do it. Okay, so moving forward, more examples for future plans and intentions. I'm going to buy a new laptop computer next week. Okay, could be, that's an intention. Or a prediction based on what we can see at the moment. Look at that car, it's going to crash. It's going to crash, you feel it's going to crash. You're not saying it will crash. It is going to because you're actually seeing it with your eyes and you think that's what's going to happen. You're like sure that that's going to happen. So you can use going to in this precise situations too. And also for time expressions, we have tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, you use going to because using time expressions express preciseness. okay? I am going to go to Italy next month. So I'm giving you a date. So it's more like precise, more specific. That's the reason why I use time expressions with going to. Can you try doing this exercise with me? Want to help me? Mm. Let's try. Why are you holding a piece of paper? What do you think is the answer? I'm Hi. going to write. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write a letter to my friend, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm about to fall asleep, I need to wake up. I? I'm going to 
get got. No, because it's to the future. I will get you a cup of coffee or I'm going to get you a cup of coffee. What do you think? Going to. I want to get a <coughs> cup of coffee. Going to. Mm -hmm. I am going to. I'm going to get. Okay. I'm going to get you a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to get you a cup of coffee. We are so excited about our trip next month to France. We? We are going to visit Paris. We. They're all going to. We are going to visit Paris, Nice and Grenoble. Mm -hmm. I, think I think he will very good and what's the verb i think he will be i think he will be the next prime minister hmm. now i'm about to fall asleep i need to wake up i hear you're doubting so what do you think would be here i'm about to fall asleep i need to wake up what about that one? I think you're doubting here. So maybe here it would be will. When you doubt, when you're not sure, I think I'm about to sleep. I am about to. So if you're doubting, you use will. When you're sure about something, you use going to, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, other ways to express the other ways to express the future. Mm -hmm. The train leaves at 6 a.m. tomorrow. You don't necessarily have to use will or going to, but then if you use time expressions like tomorrow, which like in this case, like the train leaves at 6 a.m. tomorrow, you're using future already without using will and going to. Will and going to is for the future, but not necessarily you, you will always use it for the future. You could use examples like this one or the other example here. She is meeting a new client at six o'clock in the evening and she's traveling by bike through the forest, okay? She is meeting, it's not happening right now, it's going to happen later on. She's meeting a new client maybe tomorrow in two weeks, okay? I'm not using will or going to, but I'm still referring to the future using indicators such as next week, tomorrow, next Saturday, next month, etc. Okay, so not necessarily you have to use will and going to all the time. These are just examples. For will, we also have the future perfect, but this goes ooh, later on. Okay, what's the future perfect? It's like the present perfect. Okay, we will have finished. It's like like the present perfect, but instead of using have or has, you use will. Will have finished. Will plus have plus a verb in the past participle. But that's a future perfect, but don't worry about that right now, okay? Let's play a game. I want us to play a little game. Let's see if you guys, let's see how you guys do. Just give me a minute here. Are you able to see my screen? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, super. So you're going to look at the, at the pictures closely and then you're going to decide what will or what is going to happen next, okay? Whether it's going to or will happen. Mm -hmm. Let's do it together. And you have to choose the right sentence. It's a game, but we're not. We're exercising more than playing a game. Okay, so we have a cat, a Siamese. Is a cat going to eat a fat bird or a frog? What do you guys think? 
Um, fat bird. Okay, the cat is going to eat a fat bird. Okay. Instead of a frog. Let's find out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so the answer is. Um, the cat. Read it, please. The cat is going to eat a frog. And the cat? The cat isn't going to eat a fat bird. Bird, okay. A fat bird. Very good, thank you. <laughs> Let's go with the next one. Try to guess, guys. A thief. Is a man going to break in a house or rob a bank? Is the man, well, no, the man going to break into a house? And not going to rob a bank? Yep. Okay, let's find out. <gasps> yeah. Good job, good job. So can you read it, Masi, please? The man? The man is going to break into a house. Mm -hmm. The man isn't going to rob a bank. A bank, very good. Okay, thank you. Next one. Hmm. I don't understand the picture. Are you going to eat a birthday cake or wash your teeth? When they ask, are you, you have to answer, I am. I'm going to wash my teeth. Okay, and not eat a birthday cake, okay? My dad? Mmm, super. <laughs> so, read it. Uh, I'm going to wash my teeth. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to eat a birthday cake. 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 Very good. Mm -hmm. Let's go with our next one. Is the frog going to skate or throw a snowball? What do you guys think? The frog going to throw a snowball. No. <laughs> okay, to throw a snowball. Okay, let's no. find out. Snowball. Snowball. Let's find out. Super. Mm -hmm. You guessed it. Uh huh. Can you read it, Kenya? The frog is going to throw a snowball. The frog is not going to skate. Excellent. Okay. okay. What about this one? Is he going to change a wheel in his car or in climb? A high voltage pole. What do you guys think? He going to change a wheeling in his car. Let's find out. Yeah. Good job. I didn't know what that means. So he is, can you read it, Masi? He is going to change a uh, wheel in his car. Uh -huh. He is then going to a climb a high voltage voltage pole. Very good. Okay. Let's go with the next one. What about this picture? Is he going to repair a socket or steal a car? Is he going to repair a socket or steal a car? What do you think is the answer? He is going to steal a car. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> I'm a crazy. So read it, please. He is. He is going to steal a car. He is not going to repair a socket. 
Excellent. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is he going to cure a dog or fight with a with a tiger what do you think <laughs> um. mm -hmm. he's going to fight with a tiger he's going to fight with a tiger okay Oh. <laughs> so what's the answer? He's going to cure a dog. And he isn't? He isn't going to fight with a tiger. Okay, great. And there. Okay. Ooh, what about this one? Tell me. Is he going to catch a chicken? Or a snake. He's going to uh, catch a chicken. A chicken. A, chicken. <laughs> a snake. Yeah. A snake. Okay, let's find out. A snake. Let's find out. <laughs> so, what's the answer? He's going to catch a chicken. And he isn't. He isn't going to catch a snake. Okay, very good. Is he going to fall off a horse or a bull? Mm -hmm. He is going to fall off a horse. He's going to fall off a horse or a bull? A horse, okay. Let's find out. A horse. Mm -hmm. A horse. A horse, okay. Let's find out. Yeah, you're right. Super. <laughs> so, what's the right answer? He is going to? He's going to fall off a horse. Mm -hmm. He and isn't he... going to fall off a bull. Very good. Bull. Thank you. Bull. Our next one. That's like a cottage. Is he... Is it going to be a rainy or sunny day? It is going to be a sunny day. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. <laughs> tricky, tricky because of the color. What's the answer? It is going to be a rainy day. It and? isn't going to be a sunny day. Okay, very good. Hmm. Is the frog going to take a photo of a giraffe or a stone sculpture? The frog is going to take a photo of a, a stone sculpture. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> so read it, Kenya, please. The frog is going to take a photo of a gi giraffe. Giraffe. G uh, giraffe. Mm -hmm. Giraffe. Okay. Mm -hmm. The frog is not going to take a photo of a stone sculpture. A stone sculpture. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Are you going to hammer a nail or paint a wall? The answer is I, whenever I ask you. Uh -huh. I am going to? <clears throat> I'm going to paint a wall. Okay, find out. <gasps> so what's the answer? I'm going to hammer a nail. Uh-huh, and I am not going to? Not going to paint a wall. 
Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you. What about this picture? Is he going to cut down a tree or kill a scorpion? <laughs> he is going to cut down a tree. Okay, let's find out. <gasps> huh. So, what's the answer? He is going to cut, a, cut down a tree mm -hmm. and he isn't going to kill a scorpion. Okay, very good, very good. Uh -huh. Remember that O becomes O, cut. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> cut. Ah, what about this picture? Right. Is she going to lift a bar or throw a big log of wood? <clears throat> What is a log teacher? Um, um, how do I say it? I don't know the... Uh, yeah, no, it's like a rama. Tronco. Oh. Tronco, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Tronco. Aha, tronco de madera. That's a log. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you guys think? Is she going to lift a bar or throw a big log of wood? <laughs> She's going to throw a big lot of wood. Okay, let's find out. <gasps> Eva Maria Rimas. She is going to lift a bar and she isn't going to throw a big log of wood. Super strong woman. Okay, let's go with our next one. Yeah. <laughs> that shirt. Find out. Mm -hmm. Is he going to buy some clothes or buy some food? He's going to buy some food. Food or clothes? Food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> let's find out. Mm-hmm. Super. Yeah. So what's the answer? He is? He's going to buy some food. He and isn't going to buy any clothes. Okay, thank you. What about this one? Is he going to climb up a mountain or climb down a mountain? going to climb down a mountain. Mountain. Mm -hmm. Mountain. <laughs> That's a difficult one, I know, Jose, right? Mount. Mm. Remember, mountain. mount. Mm. Exaggerate your voice. I cannot see you in camera, so you can do it in your, in your <laughs> privacy. <laughs> so yeah, but mount. Mm. You know what mm. I would like? I would like that you guys put a picture like Alex that I has a picture so I can have an idea of a picture of Kenya, a picture of Masi, a picture of Jose. So I can at least look at your face on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> to have an idea of how you look. Okay. <laughs> Homer, look for a coquetator picture and put it there, okay? Because it's sure. Yes. In case of the boca mom now it's a no. And Mount and now, ah, pero oh. which one or oh, montaña or boca? No, boca, boca, mouth. It's th mouth. because it's it, if it ends with th, then you have to stick out your tongue like this mouth, mouth, right? Mouth, okay. Mm -hmm. With the mouth. th for the sound to come out, you have to do that. 
mouth. Mm -hmm. It's mouth and and in, ahora this bien, case, in this case, my H. Uh -huh. So if there's no TH, it's mount. Try it. Mount. 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 No, we do not pronounce the tain. Mountain. No. Mount. And then, mm, like found, mm, capped, mm, okay? It's difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just practice. This is, then again, this program is called American Accent Training. Remind me to share you the, the program so you can guys practice it, okay? Like capped, mm, found, mm, mount, mm, just for articulation more, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. okay, so in this case, is he going to climb up the mountain or climb down the mountain? Jose says climb down, right? Jose? Climb, climb down the mountain. Okay. The mount. Yes, mount, <laughs> mount. <laughs>the mount um okay very good jose i need a picture and ugo i need a picture of you in zoom so i i get to know you i don't I know don't your have faces. a picture in my computer <laughs> <laughs> because recently i have to format it ah okay but if you find <laughs> one in facebook put it there so i have a like i have i see a picture of ceci and rudy and masi always turns her camera on and Alex, I see the picture of Alex, but I don't see the picture of the rest of Hugo and Jose. So I don't, I don't know your faces, your beautiful faces. I don't see you. <laughs> okay, go get uh, Let's continue. Uh, I look like Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> okay, let's let's continue with the next one. Is he going to feed a giraffe or a camel? That's a tricky one. Very tall. A camel. A camel. He's going, He's to, going to feed a camel. To feed a camel. Okay. Let's see. Let's find out. <gasps> a big. Camel. He's going to feed a giraffe. He isn't going to feed a camel. <laughs> Our next one. What about this one? Is he going to kick his opponent or a punching bag? He's going to kick a punching bag. A punching bag, okay. Let's find out. <gasps> Super, a punching bag. Chuck Norris man. <laughs> He is going to kick a punching bag. He is not going to kick his opponent. Mm -hmm. Our next one. Is he going to repair a watch or give an injection? What do you guys think? Uh, an injection. He's going <laughs> to give an injection. Okay, let's find out. <gasps> so he is going to give an injection he isn't going to repair a watch are you scared of injections yes or no no yeah mm, no too sure and easily in injections mm. or no not really okay I'm sorry. I'm so used it to injections. To injections. <gasps> yeah. But there are like some injections that are uh, that hurt more than some, right? Like for example, penicillin. <gasps> those hurt a lot. Like the a lot of pain. B12. But then, or the I ah, and the B12 to the vitamins. Because they're oil, because they have a lot of oil. 
that's why it is. Mm, in my case, uh, I'm scared to see uh, the name blue. It's like, ah, you're scared uh, of, of, of looking at blood. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, some people faint. Uh huh. Yeah. I I get shocked when some somebody ha it, when something happens. For example, if you faint or if somebody I go in shock. I don't know what to do. I just stay there and I don't know what to do. If somebody faints or if somebody falls down, I don't I don't react fast. <laughs> some people react like, "Hey, let's help." I'm like, I go in shock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> I go in shock. Is he going to sell a house or eat a bar of chocolate? I want to have chocolate right now. What do you guys think? I love chocolate. I me too. I want chocolate bananas right now. Craving for chocolate bananas since yesterday. Is he going to mm -hmm. sell a house? No, not a house. I uh, or eat a, a bar of chocolate. He going to sell a house or eat a bar of chocolate? Mm -hmm. What's the answer? He is going to sell a house. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> a little funny. Can you read it? He is going to? He's, he's going, going to sell a house, oh, house. and going. he is going to eat a bar of chocolate. Okay, very good. Talking about chocolates, what's your favorite chocolate? Tell me. What's your favorite um, name of black chocolate? Black chocolate. Dark black chocolate. chocolate. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. <laughs> Do you have all size Snickers? Snickers, all Snickers. Okay. Do you have a brand like Hershey Snickers? Yeah. Ferrero Rocher. Kisses. Kisses. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. Me too. I love chocolates. Okay. Now that we did this exercise, we're not going to revise it because next week we're going to continue with this um, exercise. Now, um, I want us to go to do the exercise. I want to pair you guys up so you can do the exercise on the platform. But give me a minute. Yeah, it's here too. Okay. So let's go to the platform. If you guys have it open up, which is 5.1. I 5. Point, knowledge check would be 5. Point, what was it? 5.3. From 5.1 to 5.3. Okay, let's do 5.3 then. Okay. So I'm going to pair you guys up so you can do the exercise together, okay? Or have you done it already? Have you done it? Yeah. Or not yet? Not yet? Okay. Uh, I have finished. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Or let me, let me do something. Let me turn. I have a do. A doubt. Mm -hmm. Uh, when finish this model next week thursday oh, okay mm -hmm. so we still have one week but on thursday i want to spend the session on thursday like i did last week or this week right it was monday to do the, okay. the final so we can do it together the final test okay in case you have questions so on thursday next thursday we're going to be working on the final and then throughout next week uh, for Monday, I'm going to assign homework because the topics are very limited. So I want you to do the speaking too. I want you to present the topic on Monday, okay? But I will send you the instructions on WhatsApp or on the weekend, okay? So you can prepare for Monday. It's going to be fun. So hopefully it's going to be a fun topic. So start thinking what you're going to be talking about for your presentation on Monday. And then Thursday next week is our last class for intermediate. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's one week vacation to do the paperwork and everything. And then we start again the next week. But I don't know yet. I don't know the dates. But yeah, finish this module next Thursday. Mm -hmm. Which is... Okay, thank you. It's on the 25th. June the 25th. Huh? Okay.
this video. Okay, so go, I'm gonna pair you up. Okay, no, let's do the exercise together. It's better if we do it together. What did I do? Yeah. Okay, so for the knowledge check, we have, it says here, read and listen to the following conversation and answer the questions. Okay, let's see, let's find out. I cannot see the conversation. Were you able to open up the conversation? Oh, maybe from here. Sometimes it's necessary to refresh the... Listen and practice. Inside. Okay. Can you listen to the audio? Yeah? Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Okay, were you able to understand or do you want me to play it again? Please listen again. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Okay. So, let's go over the answers. Where are the girls going to stay? Uh, uh, relative uh, speech house. House. Relative house. house. Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? She is going to... She's going to the beach. Go to the, go, she's going to go to the beach with her cousin. Okay. What might Julia do with her cousin? Fishing, shopping, or stay home all day? Fish, go fishing. Okay. I am booked for this weekend. I will go camping, mm. going to go camping, or I might go camping. We'll I, go am going, camp. we'll go. I am going to uh, camping. Mm -hmm. And, well, we're between these two, right? And the last one, what should you say if you're unsure? When you're unsure, remember that key indicators? Maybe, probably, I guess, I think. Maybe I will Maybe. wait around. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will leave around the end of June. So I am booked for this weekend. You already have a keyword, weekend. So whenever you have specific time expressions, uh -huh. you're going to use going to, OK? So I am going to go camping. And then it's correct. What might Julia do with her cousin? She's going to go fishing. Very good. And number two was uh, she's going to go to the beach with her cousin. And the first one is at the relative's beach house. So there's that's where the girls are going to stay. Super, guys. Time's run up. One hour again. Wow. With you guys, time flies. Thank you so much for this week. Have a blessed weekend. I will talk to you and listen to you and look at you next week same time same place okay, okay. Thank you, sir. don't Thank forget you, sir. bye bye you're welcome bye. Don't you have pupusas on sunday with your family okay yeah okay. Okay. yeah uh -huh. in the morning tamales and the morning tamales uh -huh. too. okay bye yeah. guys bye, bye. bye. bye.